Hello, in this video, we're looking at a fabulous freebie plugin by Clark Marshall that is so lightweight and simple and yet so very powerful. And what it does is allows us to completely customize the WordPress dashboard area over here. As you can see, I've just inputted this sort of team support thing, but you can do what you like. And it makes use of Beaver Builder's templating facility. So all we need to do in this is to create whatever content we like in a row and then save this row and call it dashboard. And as long as we call it dashboard with the plugin on, it will output this here. Now, one other thing to say is that we still have some options available in screen options here. So if we want the default welcome by WordPress, that's got all the quick links on it, we can just turn that on. And any other plugins that need meta boxes, they can be turned on as well and show below. But of course we can hide those. And what the plugin actually does is it outputs a short code and it also just removes the standard stuff that we get in WordPress, such as at a glance, quick draft activity and WordPress news stuff that's probably not that useful to a client. Now, there's a bit of a story with this. Um, if you don't know Clark Marshall, he runs this agency called Blue Dog Digital Marketing, where they do DIY websites and also custom websites. So it's really key for him to have a good back end setup for his clients. Uh, but he posed a question sometime back on the Facebook group and it was really about this whether we could output short codes to the dashboard and we have to give credit here to Chantelle over at One Day Webs because she really ran with this one and there's a video here where she goes into depth how she did very similar thing here and she provides all of this code here but Clark has made this easier by providing us with a plugin and that's available and the links obviously below here from GitHub. Now it's Clark's first venture in two plugins um, and it's fairly simple, so it's just gonna work anyway, but it'd be very nice if some developers out there can take a look at it, make any suggestions on how it could be improved. Uh, I've added a small contribution in adding a little bit of CSS, but no big thing there. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. Let me just give you a quick run through how it actually works in action. So I'm just gonna clear away what we've got here so i'll just remove this one and what we need to do as you probably know already when we've got a save row we can just click from here and edit it and it will change of course in the dashboard but i'm just going to clear this one so we can add a new one and i'm using here a plugin called ultimate add-ons for beaver builder and it's got a section facility over here so i can just select one of their pre-made templates or sections and add that Let's see what's a good one. Uh, let's have this one. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that in onto this page. I go into my row settings. I go to save as. And as mentioned, I need to put in dashboard there and save. And the job is done. And let me just delete this from the page as well. I'm going to publish that page. Go over to our dashboard and do a refresh and there we are. It's just uh, put all of that in there. And of course, you know, if the responsiveness is set in the template, it, it also works in the back end too. So uh, I think that pretty much covers it. So uh, a real big thanks to Clark for coming up with this. It's really ingenious. And uh, when I think of all the solutions I've tried, it seems remarkable that it could be so simple. Anyway, thanks a lot. Thanks for listening to me. I hope this is useful and I'll talk to you soon.